Hello and welcome to ATP Report. I'm Barry Nussbaum. We have a very special guest today, all the way from the United Kingdom. Anne-Marie Waters is with us today. She's the, the founder of a political party in Great Britain, for Britain it's called. Uh, she's raising a lot of attention on the subject we're going to talk about today, which is immigration. Anne-Marie, welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me. So we've been chatting uh, before we were rolling about immigration into Great Britain. And uh, um, to put it succinctly, you, you Brits, are experiencing the same thing that we are here on our side uh, in America, which is there are whole portions of America that don't look American anymore. We have massive immigration uh, policies, some of which have been toned down under the Trump presidency, but there are millions of people here that have no desire to assimilate and become Americans, much like you've told me is going on in Britain, where there are massive amounts of people that are not intending to be British. So let's start in London in particular. I'm I've read that your mayor has these goofy ideas that he wants to send the police out after, well, people that don't think appropriately. And when there's terrorism, his idea is to ban knives. Mm. Talk to me about your mayor in London, Sadiq Khan. Oh dear. Um, he unfortunately is very likely to win again. He's up for re-election in May. He is governing a city in which the English, the ethnic English are now a minority. So the English are a minority in London now. They're also a minority in Birmingham, which is England's second city. Uh, he, is, he is a Muslim and he has a long history of defending jihadis. He has a long history of um, association with extremists. Well, let me when, stop a minute just for our viewers to know this because you're touching on something they should understand. Yeah. Sadiq Khan is a very famous barrister, lawyer, yes. who made his career yes. in the courtroom defending yes. jihadi terrorists. That's how he well, became prominent. Yeah, I mean, that's a part of it, certainly, but it's, it's his associations as well. Um, he, photographs of him have been taken with really radical clerics, the kind of clerics that even the BBC is forced to condemn them for their views, sort of really anti-woman, anti-gay, anti-Jewish. Um, but, and if it was, if it was anyone else, if, if a, if a non-Muslim politician was, was associated with such people, there would be fury over it. But when he was running for mayor of London, his conservative opponent tried to raise his associations and his relationships with known, if not uh, violent jihadists, at least ideological jihadists. And he was denounced as a racist uh, and, and, and pushed essentially to the side. David Cameron, who was prime minister at the time, also raised concerns about Sadiq Khan's links. And he was denounced as a racist in parliament. When Khan won, it was deemed a victory for progress and for diversity and for tolerance and all the rest of it. He has probably been the least effective London mayor, and London's an old city, but he's probably the least effective London mayor, certainly in my lifetime. Everything is up. Everything has exploded. Massive explosion in crime, explosion in rape, robbery, the entire lot. The Metropolitan Police, which is London's police force, they are apparently too busy. They, they announced, they announced that they were no longer going to deal with burglaries or minor assaults. At the same time, we were told that there is a hate crime unit cons consisting of 900 metropolitan police officers, and their job is to police hate crime. This is while we are told that they will no longer be dealing with burglaries or minor assaults. So what they've done is tell every burglar in London, go and do your thing, we will be busy on Twitter. And hundreds and thousands across the country, but hundreds in London of people have been arrested under his leadership for tweets while we are watching unprecedented violent crime in London. That violent crime is very much enhanced by mass immigration from Africa, for example, 
which have brought in extreme violence. The gang violence in London is at extreme. We're now on machete attacks. Londoners don't attack each other with machetes. This is imported. All of this violence is imported and all of it is under Sadiq Khan. And he, of course, is very gung-ho about Black Lives Matter, about taking down statues, about renaming streets. That's our mayor of London. Oi. Mark Stein, a commentator here in the U.S., says the Metropolitan Police is policing everything except for crime. <laughs> Absolutely, it's it's and it's and it's I'll not just the, the same thing, yeah. Across the country, yeah, it's so, across the country. You really think he's going to win again? Yeah. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. The London is no longer. Uh, it's it's been so filled it's what it's labor's success story i said earlier you know that labor labor wants to import votes and it's working because it has put all of its immigrants in london most people want to live in london anyway um and uh, and their vote they vote for their they're state dependent they come here they're given states provided uh, accommodation clothing food great all we have to do is vote to keep this the state giving us all this stuff thanks Anne marie tell people how they can find out what you're doing in britain we are on forbritain.uk that is our main website our policies our manifesto blogs videos lots of information about us is on there and how people can get in touch and help us and support us because we do need it and we'll also link to our, our facebook page um so uh, please do get in touch Wonderful. I hope people do. Me too. And for those of you that haven't subscribed to our text message service, only in the U.S., please, uh, take out your cell phone and send a text to 88202. Put the message truth in the message line, push send. You'll be automatically subscribed. You'll get all of our messages on our videos like this one with Anne-Marie Waters on your cell phone for free. You don't have to do a thing and you never have to pay for it. For ATP Report, I'm Barry Newsbaum.